I am the Derpy Wall, and in this video I'm going to be showing you 30 create mod creations that push the mod to its limits. But every so often I'm just going to throw in a random one just to keep it light. Banana Peel Jazzy is showing us why Iron Golems were just so last year. And with one of these, a zombie's not going to get within a mile of your village. Okay, I'll take your entire stock. Everyone loves a good innovator, a player by the name of a square meter has made an old style one. And to be honest, I mostly just wanted to feature it because I love the jazz, and hopefully it's not copyrighted. This is a B2 nuclear bomber. At this point, it's not even the create mod, it's the destroy mod. And yes, he's gonna drop a nuke. Okay, this has to be one of the coolest things I've ever seen. A player by the name of Campion2000 is using Minecraft VR and the Create mod, and he's using the VR to control his mecha suit. Like, this is making me want to get a VR just to do this. Like, it's insane. Maybe, I don't know, but maybe that's just me, but I find this kind of stuff so cool. Oh, and in case it wasn't obvious already, I'm not a create mod expert, so I'm not fully aware of all the things you can actually do with it. But when I see things like this, my mind is blown. A player by the name of Leon was tired of piglins coming through their portal, so they took measures into their own hands and made a jaw bridge. This looks fantastic and it has to be the coolest portal design I think I've ever seen. Block boy KPG has made himself a giant mech suit and he's taken it for a little walk. And I must say the sound and the shaking effect makes this so much better. Banana Pill Jazzy back again. This time he has hidden the rail tracks, so it looks like he's made a speed from Star Wars. From land to air, this is Uber's first ever airplane, which uses Create, obviously, as well as clockwork. A player by the name of Astral Adana has made a rotary combination lock and decided to lock themselves in. All that just to protect 12 bamboo. I approve. If this player went to this extreme to protect some bamboo, I want to see how he protects his diamonds. This player's name, who I'm not gonna say, because I don't wanna be demonetized, has made probably the most satisfying hidden entrance you're ever gonna see, and the bats are a nice touch. Sometimes inventions and creations aren't here to save you time. Some people just make pointless things for the sake of it. This player has made an extremely overkill way of making potions, but it is fully automatic and pretty fun to watch. And to be honest, this is the definition of what the create mod is for. Taking something you could do within seconds and making a machine that can do it in hours.
and like five minutes later, you have your potions of leaping. Mod isn't here just to make boring or mundane machines, you actually make your own theme parks. And Dave Arone J14 has done just that and has made his own roller coaster ride. But if you're this far into the video, you're invited to my theme park where the entry will only cost you one subscription with notifications on. That's a pretty fair deal, I think. Uber's Wii and Minx has made this incredible airship, but yeah, I'm pretty much running out of things to say because all of these builds are just amazing. Although I think one improvement for this one is if you could actually make the ship move. I'm, I don't think it's actually a movable ship at the moment. So that's my one bit of feedback. But besides that, the build is amazing and way better than anything I could ever do, which, which might not be that much of an achievement. From airship to VTOL, it's a natural progression. iRazor, using the create mod, who would have thought, but as well as the clockwork mod, has made this VTOL that actually works and can be flown. It's an impressive build for sure, especially because vertical flight is actually pretty hard with these kinds of mods. And I will say the one thing you do see in this video is the fact it actually works, but there must have been hours gone into this to make it work and a lot of testing involved. But yeah, well done iRazor, your work really did pay off. So go make sure to check out his YouTube channel, it'll be linked down below in the description. And he's back. From two air vehicles to now we're back on the ground, and where I much prefer being on the ground. But this time he's showing off a survival train. And the thing I love about this one is he has other mods to enhance this, and you'll see that later on in the video. <laughs> Although that sounds a bit funny. Here's another train concept by a YouTuber called Dark Mode. You should go check him out, he makes a lot of cool create mod creations. His YouTube will be linked down below. But this one has a little twist, because it doesn't just go above ground, this train can actually go underwater. And it has quite the relaxing vibe to it. So just sit back and relax. So use the time to leave a comment and consider sharing the video. People have been using the create mod wrong this whole time. It's actually a music mod. This is Batman's house. Oh, and by the way, I watched this clip four times. This is definitely my personal favorite so far. Okay, okay, can we just appreciate how cool that was? Like, oh my god. No matter how much I speed up this clip, it's still super slow. Epic Casalimio has gone out of his way to make the most inefficient ore mining machine he could think of possible. And yeah, it's pretty slow, even with 200 times speed. <laughs>
This player doesn't believe in secretaries and instead goes straight to violence. When I first read the title of this clip and I saw that he made a cake factory, this wasn't what I had in mind. And I don't know how I feel about it. Those chickens definitely need a raise. The fish herring has combined pretty much everything we've shown so far, with a vault door, elevator, and just some an even cooler functionality used made possible with the create mod. Like overall, I think this has to be the coolest base we've featured so far, just because it has a little bit of everything. And even has a real receptionist, not that gun. S. Zenji thought he was a little too good to just use a generic staircase going into his mine, so he made his very own cave elevator. Wow, you made it this far into the video, so you must have enjoyed it right. Please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe with notifications on to never miss a video. And as always, thank you for watching.